In this tutorial, we are going to see how to configure the server-side synchronization for the mailbox. You need to assign Office 365 E3 license to the user before configuring the server-side synchronization. To do this, just click the link below in description so that you will get the video of how to get the free trail for Office 365 E3. And this, to configure the mailbox, user need to have the global admin role plus system admin role or user may also have the exchange admin role plus system admin role and just go to the settings click on email configurations and then configure the default email processing and synchronization and then set the mailboxes to the default profile and then finally approve the email and click on the test configuration of mailboxes and then activate it now let's see the demo that how can we create the server-side synchronization for mailbox now we are in power platform admin center this is the environment trial subscription base double click this click on settings just click on email drop down click on email settings and by default microsoft exchange online is a server profile and incoming email should be server side synchronization it's already enabled and outgoing email also need to have the server side synchronization and you can uh, you can set the appointments contacts and ta task to the server side synchronization click on save then go to the settings and just click on mailboxes where you need to apply the default settings to the mailbox whatever we configure in the email configuration just double click this mailbox click on apply default email settings just click on ok as you can see these are the by default synchronizations which we set in the power platform and if you want to synchronize the appointment task contacts you can set to the server side synchronization just click on approve email Just click on OK. And now save and close the mailbox. Just select this checkbox. Click on test and enable mailbox. Click on OK. Just click on activate. Click on activate. Now here the test run status has been success and incoming email is success, outgoing email is success and appointment contacts synchronization is also success. It means the appointments and contacts whatever you create in Outlook it will synchronize with the CRM. Similarly if you want to activate these mailbox for all the users for all the mailboxes you can follow the same step by just uh, double clicking this clicking on apply default the same steps you need to follow 
but the main thing is you need to have the global admin role plus system admin role whoever the user configuring the mailbox you should have at least these roles thanks for watching this video i hope this video would be helpful for you